obviously you you uh, do a lot with uh, the monitors where, you know, and the guanids too, you know, really, I guess lizards uh, are a little easier to kind of socialize, I guess, you, or train, I guess you could say. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, it ultimately it, it, it took a took a bit to understand like where where they're basically coming from right, right, like, right. so like 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 i had to kind of like like kind of I, I know this sounds super like sketchy but like i kind of had to like think like a lizard a little bit you no, know I like, like sort that. of put myself in their yeah. position like why are you acting like that towards me because right. i can't i can't communicate with you yeah. so i've got to like i kind of kind of like fit like that one. puzzle you know yeah so like uh, um like when it really came down to especially with like working with Ubisuku, which was like yeah. kind of like my more corner, yeah, cornerstone moment yeah. there you know yeah like, she would <laughs> she would want to kill you when we when we first came she'd yeah. jump out of the cage with her mouth open yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, so like like, like it, it took me actually sitting there and um and it was funny it was actually when Force came in right, right. Remember, remember when when Force had come in and mm. I'm sorry I don't mean to bring up like sad no sad no, news, no, but no 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 this is no, a really no. happy new a yeah, happy yeah, memory yeah. I had yeah. of Forrest, but mm, it was yeah. when he brought those crocodilians in. And he was talking to us oh, yeah. about yeah, all yeah, that stuff, and he was yeah. just telling me. So one of the questions I had asked him was like, "So, like, you know, where, where did you get all this information from? Like, like mm -hmm. what do you what do you do? Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, what do you where do you sitting? He's telling yeah. me like, well, actually, like, I'm I'm sitting there looking for scholarly articles. I'm looking through this. I'm looking yeah. through that. And I was just like, dude, that's kind of cool. So like, I started doing that. I started looking at Asian water monitors, Nile monitors, you name it. You know, mm -hmm. and it was just like it was interesting to see like what people were doing in different parts of the country, yeah. like like in, in a herpetological yeah. way." And it, and and it was isn't is incredible. Like like there's so much inter yeah. interesting information out there that we don't even know as keepers because right, we, yeah. we kind of almost sit in our own little bubble a lot sure. of times, you know. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that have very altering opinions as well. Like one guy, yeah. I remember really even Kevin from Nerd, right. who has kind of really become the monitor, the guy like that that's talked about socialization of monitors. Back ten years ago, the monitor community hated Kevin. They may still. I don't. Mm. I don't know because I'm not in the monitor community. Well, not this guy. But uh, yeah, no. <laughs> but I think that people went from going, "You can't do what Kevin is doing. It's bad. It stresses them out." To now, that's like the industry standard, right? You oh, know, without so, a doubt. So, like yeah. you said, there's people you know that that might you may read five papers and they're five completely differing topics on on how to actually work on behavior. So, so I think that my I guess my point is you probably read these things, but then also really use your own experience yeah experience and kind of you know yeah. abilities to, to figure it out right so it's it's, it's situational right right like, like you it's you've got to gauge what they're doing mm -hmm. and, and and sort of like based on what you learned and what you what you and you sort of apply it in that way yep. so like mm -hmm. like for instance like you know like for instance tongue flicking is a really really huge behavioral thing that sure. i had to learn because obviously right. dogs don't do that like right like yeah. how, how yeah. they but i would figure not that normal out. ones anyway so so <laughs> so like listening to kevin listen to you listen to a lot of the people that i that you know that came before me obviously like it, they, it was a big big learning step for me to mm. sort of figure out okay certain tongue flick patterns meant something mm. and even even within snakes you see it like yeah. there are some snakes right. that okay. show certain tongue flick patterns sure. so so, oh, so, so so like that that was one one of those bigger yeah. bigger steps that i had gotten across and i was just like okay well you know like all right so this is a behavior thing i need to pick this up learn it and then um like you said when it came to the situation yeah. those were one of those things that i had to be like all right this is the situation. This is how I act. This is where I go. Mm. Like it's almost step by step. Yeah. It's almost methodical. Yeah, like, and yeah. it's consistency as well. You know, I mean, it's you know. But anyways, we, we you know definitely some pretty major things. We've got be the Bell's face lace monitor now that we're working on hard. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Which is doing so, amazing right oh now. Oh my gosh, he's it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs>